Okay, good. It is Tuesday, April 18th. We're meeting instead of Wednesday because I'll be out of town. Um, 2023, 5.15 p.m. Call to order. Present, we have Roxanne Parent, Russell French, Lee Whitcomb, and Lori Lucier. First order of business is to read the minutes from our last meeting. Oh, we have extras. Yeah, it is in the blue little blue container yeah. up on the. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do we have a motion with regard to meetings, uh, minutes of the last meeting? I'll make a motion. Accept the meetings. It's ready. Okay. Okay. Second. Any further discussion or questions? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs> Approved as, yep, yeah, as uh, written. Um, okay, next, we have new mail and invoices. We did receive, I can't remember if this was here last time or not, uh, sales verification from the seller on the house up on Bond Street, 96 Bond Street. Lucia, oh, this is the what? A sales verification form. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I look at? Of course. I haven't seen one before. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. By all means. Mm -hmm. This goes out to every buyer and seller. They aren't required to sell. No, but it's very helpful. Okay. Uh huh. Here. Yeah, Lucy, you're So was this? Is we, this the buyer? Or she's the that's the seller. The if seller. you look up the top, it should say sellers. Oh, yep. right there. Yeah, the seller. Okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is clerk at conwayma.gov. So C O N. Yeah, C O M A. Dot gov. That's interesting. Yep. You can pick up some good information there, especially in terms of how acquainted <laughs> a buyer or seller is with the local market and whether or not they used a broker is a big uh, factor these days. I can give you another one if you want, but otherwise, I mean, they didn't have an inspection. Actually, let me give you mm. one. That's the one I, you know. It's a relatively new house, but even so, yes. Yeah, <laughs> And also in recent email, uh, <laughs> cherry sheets are out. We can just initial one of these. Uh, these are only in the second phase of review. We can just make it out. The governor's local aid has been um, <clears throat> filled in and the uh, House Ways and Meetings but it still needs to go to Senate Ways and Means and finally to the conference um, committee. But so far it looks fairly close. Let's see. The top section is- um, Oh, hard to read this. Yes, it is, yes. The top section is going to be local receipts. And this keeps me from doing this- But if you do look at the- <laughs> Up a little bit. Education, yeah, education is uh, 
down a little bit, but that's a, a you know, 20,000 down in school choice receiving tuition, which is a bit of a bite. Uh, the other categories, um, state owned land is up. And it's looking very nice compared to the days when it used to be $20,000. Now 69. <clears throat> and our charges are down in the lower section. That's $10,000 is quite a jump. So what are the charges? That's, uh, these are assessments that the town has to pay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And to, for example, for the air pollution district. Um, that's a state one. Transportation. Uh, right. Um, and we expect our school choice sending situation to be up 10,000. Oh. Yeah. And the receiving is down 20. Put together, that's. Yes, it is. But it isn't certainly strong. No, it isn't. No, nope. it still has to go through two more uh, phases of, of operation. We have an invoice for the black toner that I had to get for the color printer uh, because the other toner didn't fit. And it came in at $77. Uh, Jan pays it earlier than it gets to us basically uh, in order to get the discount. So she's already gone ahead and paid it. Uh, we just have to make a note that we're aware of it. And it's gone on to our budget review and then I'll sign it. There are no new sales since last we met and no new listings. However, there was a new listing. It never made it to the public boards um, for Fran Jandalone's property on Thompson Road, the trailer, down at the lower end of the property. And it's my understanding that it's already been snapped up at a price that would surprise us but I have no official knowledge of that at all. Hmm. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens there. Well, that's the only one. That's the only one, yes. There's nothing new here. Well, um, one next week, so. ah. What's that? No. Well, yep. And that that's a good time to hit the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scott and Rena somewhere again on uh, Fateley Road. Yeah, because they're already gone. Oh, that's what I well, thought. Oh, yeah. Right, um, and yeah. it, it's been sold. Those and everything is just going on the market again. I, th I thought they had uh -huh. been on the market. They did for a while last year. They took oh. it off, and now they've waited for spring, and that's a good time to do it. Oh, yeah. okay. Because I was mm -hmm. thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only other transfer we did have. These are the new permits. Uh, and go ahead and start in on them. Okay. The only other transfer was uh, within the family with, to trusts mm -hmm. for the Spencers mm -hmm. up on top of Brickett Hill. Yep. Uh, yep, by all means. I hope so. Did you need me for anything or are you good? We're good for now. Okay. Yep, thanks, Veronique. Keep in mind, after, as of 6 o'clock, she's not available. I know what. Oh, just like we would. This is the monthly list 
from the registry of transactions in Conway. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it includes every transaction. <clears throat> Does someone read mortgages? Oh, uh, really? anything, oh, yes. Anything that happens in okay, Conway is recorded. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. so, but, oh discharge. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. paying it off. And if you just pay a mortgage, it's just if you take a, if you give a mortgage to a bank, that gets recorded here. Yeah. Yes, mortgage, mortgage, uh, affidavit can be a couple of things. It can be an affidavit that you're going to continue in chapter if you've bought a house, oh. or it can have something that can be an affidavit stating that the uh, estate taxes on a property have been completely settled. If one owner has passed away, you know, uh, to allow ownership to transfer or to allow their Remaining owner to sell whatever anything like that. Discharge. I mean, they probably paid it off. Paid it off. off. No. Yeah. Trustees. They created a, a trust. Yep. Of course, declaration of homestead. Okay. Oh, I find it. Mm -hmm. Did I give you this one? Did I sign this one? No. Am I signing this? I'm sure, if you would. Not when you know you. Much is happening this week. No, very quiet. With regard to the wrong name being on this one, the owner's name being wrong, um, the new clerk up there at the inspector's office called, and we were talking about it today because I sent her an email. And she's going to come in second week in May, come down here and um, I'll find out a lot more about how they handle things up there. Oh, the owner's name is generally on the application for home. I know, but this is the prior owner. Mm -hmm. This is the prior owner. They're getting all the prior owners, even though I send them an update oh, right. of who owns what every single month. Which means they should be updated. Paying. Yeah. No, they should be paying attention to what's on the application. <laughs> to see that it's wrong? Yes. Well, <laughs> if you're looking at an application from a contractor and, and it says that the owner of the property is John Smith, but the last time you did a permit three years ago, it was Jane Doe. Well, you don't keep a Jane Doe. You change it to John Smith. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Yeah. Um, and I think Carla is going to be coming in any minute. And I did tell her that when she did, we would uh, switch over to her application, her business, not her application. But this is a motor, um, the abatement for a treasurer for John, uh, Jim and Karen Allen. So we have the tax, the Community Preservation Fund, and the summary. Um, a new bill is being issued. Yeah. So if we sign all three of these, we can just make this up down here as a signature place. Why didn't that print? I don't know. Oh, that's weird. Yep. So what is this being abated for? Per the treasurer. Because it's being, being abated in full because she's issuing a brand new bill. Oh, okay. Let me sign that one if you may. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Kind of working around. Oh, so we're signing lines down here. Yes. Okay. The signing lines for some reason didn't print on that one. That's all right. Very minor. And then we have some motor vehicle excise abatements also. I've been through them all and uh, good. So um, we have one, it's a dealer plate. The owner has passed away. So the dealer plate had to be canceled and that was done um, three months into the year. This was a trade, uh, this is a, 100% disabled uh, person who qualifies for complete 
uh, abatement. Mm -hmm. And then this is another vehicle sold or traded. And we have the supporting data underneath all of these, which you can look at and sign if you'd like. Uh, any questions? And then we'll vote and oh, run through them if you'd like, and then we'll vote on them. At least look Am I supposed to look at them and sign them or no? Well, I think we can certainly look at them, see if you have any questions. Okay. Then we can vote on them. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have much to do anyway. If I have my laundry in my, you know, I do a little laundry. Back the pills, I'm good. I now take very little with me when I travel. And we're going to have a washing machine to all of this. Well, where are you heading to? We're going to England for oh, 10 days. Wow. That's all. Yeah. Right. It will be. It's me. I'm printing documents from the hotel that I just. Oh, you got the. I got the room for the conference. Great. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. So after all of that, rah, 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 I got the room. <laughs> that's improved your day considerably. I'm so Absolutely. Glad. I did not want to miss this conference. It was a good one. It's a great one. It really is. It's got some great classes. That is terrific. Yeah. So, um, we accept the for the motor vehicle. Okay. I'll okay. second. I second. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Unanimous. Okay. Yes, yesterday was one of the half-baked holidays in Massachusetts only. Mm -hmm. I suppose if Paul Revere had got a little bit farther out of town, then maybe New Hampshire would have joined in. Although I think it was in Maine also. They were still part of Massachusetts at that time. Yeah. This has just the one some uh summary. Um, can you hear just, anything about, um, just bring that up right now. Um, the, they're going to meet, of course, on the 25th 
oh, the ComCom is going to meet. And Grace did send over a copy of a, a brochure that's out there that does not seem to tell me that you cannot do anything within 200 feet, but there it is. I did download the Rivers Act. And it says work in the riverfront area is not prohibited, but applicants must demonstrate that their projects have no practical alternatives and will have no significant adverse impacts. Um, so who, who made the camp? The CONCOM did, because it was within about 15 feet of the river. It, it, of the it almost overlooked. It was almost over the program. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and so we have this to refer to, but um, I did speak to Jan about it because taxes are due on May 1st and uh, they're not meeting until the 25th. And she suggested that what we as assessors could do would be to come up with the figure that it would likely be if the abatement was granted. Let her know and let him know as soon as possible and that she would accept that amount initially until she had the final determination. But if he paid that by May 1st, she would consider him paid on time. And then if it was not granted, he would have to pay the difference within a certain period of time. But rather than April 25th is a Tuesday and the taxes are due that next Monday, she felt that was a fair approach. You don't think it's, he shouldn't just pay it? And then you know. Well, it's a couple of thousand dollars difference between the two bills, 1780 something. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't actually have a figure. Yeah, I know, I, I know what, I know up? I can figure out what it would be if it was abated and it went to an unbuildable lot. I can figure that out. <clears throat> so I can figure out what the taxes would be if it were, well, if it. He also had a question on the value of. Oh yeah, the, the, cab, I don't, the figures in the computer all say $1,800 for the cabin. The entry on the commitment book was completely wrong. It had the land wrong, it had the cabin wrong. I don't know if it was a glitch between Tyler. Uh, we never had the cabin at 25,000. But that's how it got printed. So we have to correct that somehow. Yeah. No, I think we can do it under the same. But we didn't request that though. Um, but it should be done. Yes. Okay. Therefore, in his opinion, the acre is worth this much plus 2,400 for the cabin. So I think that's sufficient for us to be able to address the question mm -hmm. of the cabin value in this same application. Mm -hmm. So I'm hopeful that you guys will be able to get to that meeting, maybe. It's a Tuesday night, week from tonight. Just to hear what they have to say. This is the CONCOM meeting. It's the CONCOM meeting, right. I believe it's held right next door. Where? It's the supporting. Uh, and what time is this meeting? I don't know. Yeah. I think so. It was quite early, yeah. I mean, if we were, then we would. What would our do? We have to. You're there basically to listen. Okay. It's not a joint meeting. They don't want. Just as a spectator, and and you might be invited to ask questions. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, or you might be able to ask to ask questions. The it would bring back information for us to use at our May 3rd meeting, a regular meeting, the first Wednesday in May, mm -hmm. to make a final determination on this. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if you want to look at these two before them. The Rivers Act and that brochure that she sent over. Well, they're going to make the determination. Yes, they are. So this would just be the basis for questions, perhaps. And they have that information. Oh, they have it. Yes. They, yeah. they should know it. Of yeah. course. So, I mean, I guess we just go by their determination. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's what we have always done in the past. That what the CONCOM decides is is uh, what we follow. Okay. Yes. Yes, because I've also worked on overlay, and I wanted to make sure we had enough in overlay if we decided well, to do it. If they have the meeting on the twenty fifth. Yes. That's still before May first that the payment has to be done. Yes, but uh, I wouldn't be here to calculate it. Uh, Jan would like to know ahead of time. I figured to send it to her tonight. She's out of town this week, but she'll be in, in town all next week. Okay. I and I can also notify him. I was him. just wondering if it, you, know, you can let them know that it has to be paid by if they Yeah, decide. he knows, or if they know that it has to be paid by the first. Okay. Grace and I were talking about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Hello there. Hi there. Come on over, Carla. So, are we next on? I would say set it aside until if you want to review it at all again next week before the meeting, that's great. It's going to be the it's going to be the house that the, the land as if unbuildable. So that isn't that something that we would have to go over and no, it's a straight off right off the land schedule. I think my question is well, no, it doesn't have the same G look, you know, topography or anything. I, I, oh, okay. Should we bring that up as a question then? Right now, between amongst us, I, I well, yeah, he, he did mention that. Yes, his, his, he did say that in his opinion, it probably ought to be about the same as it was across the road, which I think was thousand dollars an acre. Yeah, right, roughly, right. yes, to it's, the water district. So, wait a minute, what is our land charts? What would that be? Do you have it? Yeah, tell us. <laughs> well, I did calculate it up. He's taking. Mm -hmm. Had it on a piece of extra paper. You know what? I don't know. Interesting to be kept in the road furniture. Unbuildable value would be thirty one thousand three hundred forty eight. So if it's unbuildable, it's thirty one. Thirty one five. It's a long ways from six, and he's not going to be very happy. Yeah. 
if you didn't want it to be a woman. And as Bill of Law, it's 136. So, so basically, we're looking at 100,000 100, difference in the land alone. That alone should make them happy. Yeah. I mean, well, we still need to perfect. Yeah. Right, of course, but I mean, a hundred thousand dollar difference in land. And should... what would the value of the um? Did you tell me what the value of the cabin would be? It's only like fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, eighteen hundred. You said? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, last year was fifteen, and yeah, if you add the eight, yeah, if you add the eight uh, percentages, yeah, eighteen hundred. So okay, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's always been, it's always been like that for some reason. It glitched up this year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cabin would be thirty dollars and eighty seven cents. Yeah. So but that's my question is we I would not have to have to it would be in a have cabin. another abatement situation because he's not happy with the he wants a better fit. Yes. Well because you sell it at a price, that doesn't mean the value. Why? And that was a number of years and he ago. Sold it, and he sold it to the watershed, which right. is. Right. He sold it to a watershed. Which is just like a quick, easy, cheap sale. And it. Uh, he didn't put it on the market. No, they went to him, I believe. What? Oh, they I went believe to him. They went to him. It's. It, now that, the topography of that one oh, I, I, is unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. But just because you don't agree with the final abatement doesn't mean you get to keep. I mean, if there's he has if there's the errors, days in yeah. If there's errors, it. yes, you you come back yeah. and you fix those errors. If you're just not happy with what the land schedule numbers are, then you can't. You 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 can't. It just no. He will have the ninety day period in which to ask us to readdress it. Yeah, but if that's our schedule, how do you you can't lower that? No, right. and I don't see any reason to. Um, I mean, that's a huge abatement. A lot of a lot of. Houses were built right there on that same type of land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the I mean, reason that his is unbuildable. At it, he's looking at it also as going up way up to the top. That doesn't mean it couldn't be built down by the road, could it? Well, he's got that drag, you know, in the property of the yeah. road, which gives him even more space. I'm sure. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's right. There's nothing different. It'd be it'd be awkward to put it. Be it'd be costly to put in a driveway. Yeah, I think if we were to do it as buildable, we'd want to think about a driveway discount like we have on other properties that were ledgy of right around the, along the road frontage. So, it, so you're <clears throat> you're going to compute something else. It's a chance. Yes. Thirty-one thousand plus the that the yes that. yeah that the land will be at the uh, that's if it gets. Not as a building. Right. That's right. That's right. Yep. That it'll be thirty-one, whatever I just said for the land, plus yeah. eighteen hundred for the mm -hmm. yeah. Just gives her a heads up to what's coming. Yes. And it gives her a figure to help him have his taxes paid on time. Right. You know, it's a little way around it, but it's a graceful thing for her to do. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Yep. So okay, that's where that one stands. Oh, uh, Carla. All right. When last we met, the old Rocky Bullwinkle cartoons. Um, we had looked at 2023 as, as build, and then we had looked at uh, the figure we proposed for 2024 or 2023 as abated. And I said that I would get a list out of other ranches that are not unlike yours mm -hmm. and see what their situations are. Mm -hmm. So I put in the parameters. Now yours is 1,170 square feet. And I said, okay, give me ranches between 1,000 and 1,400 square feet. And yours was built in 1970. And I said, give me ranches built between 60 and 1980. And so 1960 and 19, uh, 1980. 10 years older and 10 years newer. Mm -hmm. Now between the two black lines, cross lines, horizontal lines, are all the ones that are that have a condition as good. Mm -hmm. 
you'll see that the effective ages that are given to them under the yellow column vary a little bit. The reason is over to the far right. Let me show you this way. Okay, so the effective age that was. Do you want? Oh, you can write. Yeah, by all, of course, of course, yes. Uh, there you go. So we're looking at this. This would have been the effective age from our old camera program if we were just going straight with the effective age year without any condition, any consideration of work that's been done. Yeah, but this is okay. But this is the effective age that it had been given in the new, in our current program. Mm -hmm. You'll see the ones that have a newer effective age have all had work done. Okay. Yeah. varying degrees but this one's done in 1970 and it's got an effective year of which line second one down okay second one down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the effective year is 1990 yes and some work was done on that before this before it was sold but it was within the family but work be oh work was done before 2015 yes mm -hmm. So that is a huge difference. That's 10 years difference for the effective age of Carlos. But that that's also in just average so versus why, good. It's important to look at the goods. Okay, but so why did hers go from 1990 to 2000 when it switched? Right, from 1990 to, to 2000 here. Mm -hmm. Because we became aware of a new kitchen in the house is a big part of it. So that brought it up 10 years in the effective year. Kitchen is a major component in a house. Mm -hmm. Also, I guess my question is, would you, um, some of these others, now look at this one didn't change at all. Completed right up right. That's very good, though. Yeah, well, I see you picked some of those out, but I saw some that were very similar, too. And it's like I questioned that because I looked at the charts. Let me see what I got. But the, this CDU, that is the no, division of the dwelling unit. Okay, good. Yep. So it's good. This is good, but we, we changed it to average. Right. Okay. But I'm showing you. Yep. So if you're changing it to average. Fine, we'll put it. Shouldn't that effective year go down? What would you have for others? So I was just looking at 70. Average, yes, it's 85. If there's nothing else been done to the place. Okay. But you, you 1970 change. average, no new kitchen would be 1985. Yeah, but you've got a 2000. That's I'm saying that's what we're considering changing, yes. Mm -hmm. So you're considering changing it to what? Nothing. No. You're not we haven't talked it over yet. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, because I got some here that I looked at too. Are they ranches? Yes, this is all okay, good. And so 68, which is two years yeah. older. Yeah. The effective year and it's average, and it's only 1400 square feet. The uh, the effective year is 85 for average. Yeah. Another 68. Any upgrades? Um Mm -hmm. I can't tell, yeah, they, the year. but that that's the, a big component on the effective year is whether or not there's been any upgrades. But it would be changed from food to app from average. Not to necessarily. Food. Well, it depends. I well, have to look and see what well, else. If it you is. have an upgrade, she hasn't changed. I mean, but the overall condition because we, we you guys haven't seen the inside of the house. The what they changed was the exterior. I, that's what I thought. But you didn't change the overall because okay, you haven't we seen did, the inside. We did change the condition on the exterior, yes. 
And I guess my other question would be, because this doesn't get complete information, is if you have looked at, gone into the inside to mm -hmm. give this an average and, you know, because I don't know by this information. I don't know what else it is, unless you're talking about. Um, I don't know the way to use it. Run out of process. Oh, yes. Okay. And then this one is good. Yes, been in there. And it's effective age as 85, 1985. As a good. Wow. I'm not then, saying that we don't have problems. We knew that we would find and this was the problem. Systems, and that's what we're trying to fix for next year. And well, right we now, we haven't done a thing about it though, because I because we need to work it out. I mean, and try and figure out our approach well, here. I, I and Carlos is one that happens to have come forward first. I know, but I pointed a lot out of the discrepancies when we were putting the budget through in the fall, and nothing was addressed to it. So I'm just pointing this out. Yeah. So here's an here's one average 1970s. And the effective year is 1990. Mm -hmm. And it's modern and modern bathroom and modern kitchen. Now, Carla has a modern kitchen, really, mm -hmm. and a typical bathroom. Okay, that's that one. And that one is, so that one's 1990. And what we say, what we were saying at our last meeting certainly was that before we change, if we change a program or before we go and do next year's figures, we're going to make sure that all of our ages and conditions are consistent. Yeah. And that the effective ages are consistent based on age and condition. I, I and that we're fixing these. Yes. But so does that mean you don't fix hers because they're oh. not correct? Okay. That so. means that hers just came up first. Okay. And help to point out the problem. The, or it could mean that the other ones need to be fixed. Of course. Yeah, maybe yeah, some of them do. Need to yeah, be but fixed. no, I'm saying first could be right and theirs could be wrong. That could be the other way around, but as it happens, well, we're, just, we're that questioning thing, hers. I think that wouldn't be quite right if you go by the other charts that we have with um, the effective years in there that we have to go by. Because we have, my understanding is now with this program, we have to change the effective year. Yes, if we're continuing with this program, yes. Which I don't think is a good idea, but well, that's we're getting to that too. Yeah. Um, also, this effective age chart is from fiscal 2020. True. Sure. So it's four years old. It's the most recent one we had in the old program. 2020? Yes, fiscal mm -hmm. 2020. You'll find yours has the same thing. Well, we're on 23. I know. Yes. Well, Okay, so that was a, a good question. And yep. did you do any adjustments at all? Uh, I tried some. Okay. Yes. I did find so if we clear mine up and make it clear, it's one less you have to do. That's right. Year. It's a <laughs> absolutely. And I'm gonna appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Well, it might help when you have to go and correct the other ones too. Because we're looking at this one. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I did find that on that back porch of yours, yeah. that I wanted to talk with Russ about, uh, I found a way to decrease, uh, to increase the depreciation on that part of the house alone, because it seemed to me to be in uh, much poorer shape than the rest of the house and all. Yeah. Okay. The depreciation was 11%. I did a what if and took it to 40%. Is that agreeable to you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So the first step I did was that depreciating so, the back porch. Okay. Okay. So 40%. To 40%. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that changed the overall value on the house from. Uh, it was 153.5 to 150,627 for that one step. Wait a minute. How did you come up with that? It's the change in the value of this one little area. 
you don't have this. I, I understand. I'm just trying to compare. Where did you come up with that? I'm just trying I came to, up with I'm that by depreciating that back porch more than it, than the rate of the house because it's in worse condition. Okay. Yep. Then no, the that's house. good. That's good. Okay. Second step I did was to keep that change and change the effective year from 2000 to 1995 to see what that would do. That brought it down to 144. The third step I tried was keep that back porch depreciation, change the effective age from 2000 to 1990. That brought it down to 137.4. And those were the kinds of comparisons you had asked me to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't had a chance to look at this because this was all off. I don't what you gave us here. Yes, that is changed now. Okay. So what would be your total, just because I, haven't really looked at it. What would be the total depreciation? What would you be the total abatement, I should say? Depends on which one of these Russ and I choose. Right. Which I know. When we decide. I know. But you didn't hear. <clears throat> We're at 153. Three, 153. five on the house. Yes. Okay. These are average, 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 average. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think the biggest... which makes it crazy that when I did that report, it came out as good. We fixed that. It's still printed out on the report as good, even though it's all averages yeah. here. And you don't. Yeah, I know. As long as the property card is, but it does not need to be corrected. Be... So even if you changed changed the effective year on these, things were printing out as good. Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, no, that's no. something different. They're printing out as average average. Okay. okay. What I'm saying is that when they asked it for a report for ranches, oh, it printed out yours as being in good condition, even though it's average oh. in the program. Oh. For some reason. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But at any rate, uh, we're dealing Apple average average, mm -hmm. average average, average average. Let's see. Okay. Well, so have you some thoughts? Well, I, <clears throat> I am only surprised that the same year it didn't make more of a difference. But it made what 13,000, not quite 10 percent. Hmm. Now, if it average, average. By our old here would put it at 1990, and it has uh, 1985. Yeah. Um, so what's what are you putting here? One point times one point. That's times. Oh, that's one point oh eight. <laughs> yeah. So the four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Times point oh eight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our factor for last year. Okay. And then that would bring it up to. Okay. I didn't carry it forward on the front sheet. I was just looking at the house values. Yep, yep, yep. Want to see that one? Oops. I got more down paperwork here. I don't know how. <laughs> That's because you always keep the old. You always keep everything even though it's obsolete. You don't when you replace it with something new and updated. Yeah. You keep the old. I I I've kept a lot of stuff. Yeah. Let me tell you. I don't yeah. throw away anything. Ah uh, well. Anyways. I mean, yeah. That that's that's. I don't know if I have an opinion. Do I have? Should I? No. Have no. You don't. can't on the value. <laughs> Absolutely not. You're pushing it enough as is. <laughs> Okay, I didn't give it to you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Please just hang on to that. <laughs> okay. Um, 
if it were in good condition 1990, if average condition 1985. I make a motion we accept the lowest one on the <laughs> 1990. You can't move. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and as a citizen, I make, I make a citizen's petition. <laughs> I make a citizen's petition to accept uh -uh. the to accept the the as bill well, we 1990. To, you're allowed to make comments. I just you did. can and I can't. I just right. did. You're not related to anybody <laughs> at this table. Oh, that's, I was going to say, wait a minute, that's not true. <laughs> related to a lot of people. Yes, so, at this table. That's not, not so what she said. She <laughs> said you're not related to anybody. <laughs> There's just a brief pause. So, <laughs> we agreed that. I don't want to go with this 1990 and send out that we don't agree on. And that's what we don't do. Is everybody agreeable? That is what it is. You mean to double check the sizes and dimensions? That's exactly. right. I believe that's all been done. I don't want to have any against you, but I don't want to see it come Can I see back that? I, re I remember what the dimension changes were. 21 of the feet instead of. Okay, both sheds are gone. The step is gone. 16 by 17, average, average. That's typical, typical, average. Oh, no, modern, typical, average, average. No back step, 16 by 17, right. two sheds gone. It's a bigger yeah. value. Yeah. That's okay. what it should be. <laughs> but you had already double checked all the yeah. dimensions and everything previously. Yeah. Can I ask a question? You've been asking, you've been asking questions right along. I, I just want to make sure. <laughs> we won't try. To, we'll try to stop you because we want to be out of here, Jesus, Jesus. But yes. Okay. Ask a question. But I did have a, you know, on your your figures here didn't yes. seem right. Are those going They're going to get redone. Okay. Because those didn't seem right at all. <laughs> okay. So what, what you guys are picking out there is one of those. Yes. Okay. Providing all the dimensions. I it looks yeah, like. It, it, Carla, do I'm you have at, thoughts? I'm looking at this one here, which is the. Yes. Oh, Yes. Okay. Yes. That's yes. it. That's it. Except, okay. does that have the modern kitchen? I think that's still as the typical. Well, kitchen. yeah. The only difference is it has kitchen says modern bath is typical. Yeah. Right. But now you change it to modern uh, modern, modern kitchen yes. typical bath. This isn't. Okay. No, that's good. The garage. Well, the garage. Yeah, that's the bath. The, the, the bath. Yeah. But the two. Right. But the two shelves are not. Okay. That's going to be added on next year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, the two sheds and the little but they weren't on this this previous year, so they're not they, they weren't in our calculations right previously. But this so. is what the drawing looks like exactly. Yeah, that's right. And that is the same, and the only difference here is the kitchen size. Right. Yeah. Okay. Carla, do you have questions, comments, thoughts well, about this? Um the only question I have now is I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah. You the shed is off. Mm -hmm. sheds off and all that, but I paid for them. Right. So you'll be abated for. Them. You'll be I'm abated for them. I'm going to be abated. For yes. Them. Okay. So the sheds out back and then yeah. that there. But yes. Demo the difference, okay. the difference in the building Next value, the, the building Next value, the total building value includes your outbuildings. So well, it includes it. It recognizes. Well, no, because actually, if you those sheds, yeah, yeah, figured out the total there. If you go with the 1990, let's just say that. I'm just wondering. You got it in your hand. Yeah. If you go with that one, so the total would be with that is 150. So yeah, you, it would be a difference of. What the heck? The paper am I looking at? You have the original as built. Do too. Is that is the as a daily? I have it as built. Original as built. The buildings it would were be one seventy two. Yeah, twenty two thousand dollars. Yeah, right. The difference of twenty two thousand. Yeah, this it's yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. see, you, you paid for the lumber shed. You didn't pay for the other shed. You paid for the shed that totally disappeared. And in the your payment, we're taking that out. So it would be that plus the four ten. Is that right? No, that includes the no, four ten. That includes the four that recognizes the four ten. And it takes it's not it's not on here. True. So it's not but, being counted, so it doesn't have to be deleted. But you pay for them. 
and she's going to get a back knee abatement. That 410 is part of the 172. Yeah, correct. The, the 410. Correct. And the abatement is going to. And I'm just trying to figure going this to not have that head. shed. So it's going to not have that value on it. Okay. So what she already paid. Uh, yeah, I guess it wouldn't be any difference in if you took this off now and right. lowered that and did it. Yeah, okay, right. I got you. Okay. I just, you know, I got to think it through. But yes, okay. I got you. Okay. Yes, that's an <laughs> important one so. here. Think we don't want you back again. <laughs> <No>? <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay. I yeah. think it's okay. Okay. You can make some vote. Okay. I'm going to change the effect. Yes. Well, we, and, and we needed to agree to the 40% depreciation on the porch. Increase the okay. porch depreciation. Uh, Depreciation to forty percent. Okay, let, let's let's okay. do let's do two I'm motions: one for the depreciation and then one for the effective year. Increase the depreciation on on the back covered porch hmm? from eleven percent to forty percent based on its condition being significantly different from that of the house. Have I a second? Second. Any further questions or discussion? Bella. Well, now that you're saying that it's separate from the house, what is it's the house? How is the house? it's it's not separate from the house, yeah. but it's not in as good condition as the house is. Right. So we want it to be depreciated more because it's in poorer condition. Right. That's what we're doing here. Which lowers yep. its value. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do you need to do you need to vote that you change the kitchen to modern? Because it was. I don't think so. Voted. To, to I just, I'm just right. want to make sure. Yeah, I don't think we need to do that because that was discussed it okay. pretty thoroughly. Okay. And there was no question about that at all. Okay. And it did not, uh, it should be fine there. So we had a motion, we had a second. Right. Do we have a vote? Have, okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Do nothing. No. Now, no. you can make the motion. Okay, uh, I second. Any further discussion or questions? Okay, and we have a vote. Aye. 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 All right, go with that. All right. <laughs> no, that's okay. You can say that. Out Wait, let's sign We're the adults. ones we are going to keep for us. Yeah, just yeah, sign it. Put big letters. Keep this one. Big initials. Yes. Eight. And, and, and you're not going by this stuff. No. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. And we will use this information in consideration when we're uh, looking over everything. Mm -hmm. So, yep. So when, I think when, how, when are we going to start looking at that? Because if we, we can start a beginning in May, we should. Okay. I get back April 30th, so we start. And we haven't, I guess. And I'm getting out on more visits. Uh, yeah, we haven't done any really site visits. Hey, you're all set up. We haven't done it. Okay. Okay. Unless you have a question or you no. want to stay longer. I'm going to redo this page, Carla. Okay. And make it a bit more detailed. Okay. And you have um, another. Um, There'll be an abatement yes. certificate for you. Yes. When, when Lee gets back, we'll do another corrected and a, new ab and a new abatement certificate. Okay. And that'll get to Jan, so you'll get another check. Okay. Yeah. And then you'll get a copy of the certificate and the new card. Okay, that's good. And in the meantime, I'll tell her an abatement's being issued. Yeah, for approximately this much. Um, you've certainly paid a significant amount already of mm -hmm. your taxes. Yeah. In the other case, nothing had been paid all year. In the other case we were discussing where oh 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Yes. Yeah, it doesn't have to do with you. Oh, oh. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so Jan wanted to know what the situation was going to be there. I think she would be less deeply concerned about this one. I'm so willing to wait until we act on the uh, signed it on the third. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Burn the updated. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't look at it and say, no. Well, you know, I went back and I went back and I talked to my other um, back in 2016 when, so, well, I'm just thinking, we, we fixed the porch mm -hmm. and on the abatement is gonna be the um, sidewalk and the- That's gone. Yeah, the that's council gone. Did, did, mm -hmm. takes off that. Okay, so that's gonna be added. That's, in, that's, included. that's included in the abatement, yes. Okay. And the condition of the roof of the of the barn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Will that be? Do you break that down? I will. Yeah. So I'm like I did on that black and white, okay. just like I did, only more so. Mm -hmm. You saw it at the top. I had three things in one mm -hmm. calc. I'm going to try and do the three line items there. Because the measurements, I'm just looking back on some property that I got, and the measurements I thought I had changed back in 2016. That's why I was surprised to see that they hadn't been changed on any of the other previous ones. Well, that was way before my time. So. <laughs> and, and then when the sidewalk was added on here, I was a little upset. Mm -hmm. Because um, we were, we were um, just for bathroom down color and fully finished um, basement. Well, that, you can't change that. No, I'm not. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, no, it's all. I went back it's... and looked, and I had the measurements at that time mm -hmm. changed too, but it, it didn't happen. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I know. I apologized about that. So. Yep. Okay. okay, so this is now obsolete. Yep. Put it right in the put it right in the shredding. Yep. Don't okay. need any. Don't even keep it around. Just immediately into the shredding. I want it shredded because it's obsolete and I don't want to come across it and go, what am I supposed to, what, is this That's the right, right one or is that the right one? And it, it, if it's obsolete, it, it goes. Yeah. So I think we're going to discuss. Oh, well, <laughs> let's see. This has to be, we can't discuss that with you. These we can sign. Uh, actually, those, no, those are personal exempt. Okay, that we could discuss. <laughs> about, you got the two warrants that need to be yes. signed. Yes. So yes. that the yeah the the um, abatement you signed the per a treasurer the Wait, what? the abatement that you guys signed earlier that was per the treasurer yeah yes. um, because it was being rebuilt we have the warrants for the rebuild right here okay <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay so we're signing those yes okay. sorry Lee I took away your that's, thunder that's fine <laughs> I'm happy with that. Okay, we have two warrants, one each for the real estate tax and the community preservation fund. Oh, wait. And I'm gonna, Laurie, shall I change 11th to 18th or just let it be? On what? Down here. Don't just okay. I mean, if you want to change it, change it, but I don't think that really makes that big of a I don't think so, but you want to change the one to an eight, change it to an eight. Yeah. Okay. I will. Jane can say, why didn't I have it last week? Just change that date, Russ. There. There we go. So we did the motor vehicle exercise abatements. We have a lien for property that went into chapter. Uh, it's the up back behind Bear River Bridge and behind uh, the West Farm. It's in there. It was out on Dacey Road. And it was formerly owned for many years by the Louise family from uh, Lynn. And they have put it into a trust and put it all into 61 with, uh, I think we had voted on this already. Yep, we did and signed it. So this is simply a matter of having you two sign the lien and then I'll ask Lori to notarize it, if you'd be so kind. 
my signature. I didn't see you sign it. You can sign it. Yeah. No, you can sign. Go ahead and sign it, and okay. then I'll and I'll sign it. Can't notarize something. I didn't see happen. Why do you have to notarize? <laughs> it's being filed. I'm signing, saying that this is the act, uh, the wish of the board of assessors, oh, okay. as voted. And so when you do this, that's what it says down here. Basically, so when you do that, that has to be notarized. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's the, up behind. Uh, oh, up behind uh, West, uh, West. Bonnie Craig's and Donnie. Uh, yep, and Wests. Oh, and wow. Carl Nelke is up in there. Yeah. How yep. much land is it? Oh, 148.102. Sign it, woman. All right. The town well, don't go there. Don't <laughs> Having it for plant forestry is good because yeah. that's going to help maintain the health of that forest. Right. I know. They're devastating to the trees. They are. Okay. Okay, this is probably our next one. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. We have to hold those for executive session. Uh, at least one of them. So, um, next is the conflict of interest topic. As did you get the email this afternoon? Yeah. Okay, good. It came in. Yeah, that's when I got it too. And so we have the uh direction letter of direction from i didn't print it out myself from our town council donna pink mcnichol regarding oh good use of the rule of necessity and her opinion on how we should proceed with this mm -hmm. and I think I printed it out too. Okay, good. Yeah. Yep. I'll read it for the for the record. Mm -hmm. Um, you have requested that I opine on the issue of the appraisal of individual assessors' homes in the town of Conway. I'm given to understand that there's a strained relationship between members of the board of assessors, and as such, you are attempting to determine what is the fairest way gain appraisals for each of the assessor's private homes or real property. As has been pointed out in the letter from the Ethics Commission, uh, attorney Amy Bressler-Ni, even a discussion of what process to use to assess individual assessor's homes raises a conflict of interest. This would be a discussion concerning appraisals of each assessor's home, and because each of you has a financial interest in the outcome of this discussion, there is a conflict. You are all elected officials tasked with the evaluation of homes in Conway, and there's no other town board commission, excuse me, commission or committee with the authority to appraise your homes or decide the process. In addition, in addition, each member of the board has a conflict in this matter, determining how to appraise your inv individual real estate and cannot act. You are therefore entitled to invoke the rule of necessity per Ethics Commission Advisory 0505 in order to have a discussion of the means by which you will decide how to appraise each other's individual assessor's real estate. In order to invoke the rule, on the advice of the council, the chair invokes the rule of necessity. These are the steps to take to do it. Minutes of the meeting should state that the board lacked a sufficient number of members necessary to take a valid vote as a result of disqualification of members due to the conflict of interest. Include in the minutes the facts disclosed by each disqualified member which created the conflict. Identify the legal necessitating board action at that meeting and record that as a last resort, the rule of necessity was invoked. You may then hold a discussion as to how you will fairly appraise each individual assessor's real property. If you determine that the other two members will appraise together the third assessor's real property, then you no longer need the rule of necessity because the conflicted member will not be participating in the individual assessing. If you determine that the best and fairest way to appraise each individual's real estate is to hire an outside consultant 
then you will continue to use the rule of necessity to choose an outside consultant. Please call if you have questions. So, I believe the next step is to invoke the rule of necessity so that we can discuss this. And on advice of our town council, yep, um, I move that we invoke the rule of necessity to allow further discussion of this matter. Have I a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we are near and in invoking the rules so that we can continue the discussion. Um, what thoughts have you had since reading this? Roxy? Well, I have a lot of issues as to how this came about for one thing. Um, and what is, I guess, our biggest conflict as to why we have to do this? And, and also your letter to the um, ethics. Mm -hmm. state ethics. This had not, not, ever, had not had a written response. Um, well, be, like or anything since the phone call several weeks ago. Yeah, because you said it was kind of, you stated that it, it's a personal thing that they respond to and not. From I hadn't realized that until they right. got back to me. Right. And when I asked you if you, you, I guess I asked you if it was a personal and it came from the board of assessors from the town. Mm-hmm. And you were very upset with me because I questioned if it was personal. If you said it personally or from the, because anything that comes from the board, we're all supposed to know about it and approve it. And it wasn't done that way. This is coming from the town. I understand Connor. what you're saying. So you sent this out from the board without our approval. I sent it after having said that I will contact the commission. True. The ethics commission. Understandable. And yep. find out, you know, see if we could get a clearer answer from them. And we agreed at the meeting that I would do that. Well, I don't know if there was, but the point is, it doesn't matter if we agreed. If it comes from the board, we should know what it says. Not that you're not the only person in the board. That's right. So it wasn't done that way. And there's some issues in here, like representing of unfounded accusations. And this is what our town council is going by, what you said. And what Amy Me said. Yes. But there was nothing about unfounded accusations for me in there. So I guess my biggest problem is what you had written of what I said. And what is the unfounded accusations? as to why we have to, do, to go this way. That you, we changed the values on our own properties for our own benefit. I didn't say that. I was just- oh, yeah, Yes, did. you did. No, I didn't. I, Loud was and reading, clear. I was reading, I was reading the property card and you said I should ask questions. And I have it down here. You can look at the videos. I asked, how does your property go down in um, percentage complete. There were certainly allegations made. No, I asked questions as to it. And then I asked Russ, when was the, when was the last time that you had gone to Lee's house to evaluate? And you said, it's been about five years. No, because you went at the last three bell, 17. Well, I guess that is getting on to yeah. now, yeah. So that was the last, and that's what you said. It was about five years since you've been to Lee's house. Mm -hmm. to do any evaluations. It's not an unreasonable amount of time. I'm not saying it is. Right. I'm just saying that, um, I can't find more paperwork. Here it is. And um, you said you do for a rebound, you know, a site mm -hmm. And so I was reading the property card of what your house says. Mm -hmm. And it's right here. And in it, and I asked you these questions because I was reading from the, I, ha I haven't been to your place, so I was reading it. It has gone down from 21 to 22. 
and this was the one we were questioning it, yeah. it the grade changed. The condition that was on advisory. The condition changed from average That's to no fair. Point. The completion changed from 90% to 75. And I asked, how does something become? And you said that Russ went by some questions he asked you. And you answered the questions. Yeah, yeah Malcolm. Okay. Yeah, the two members. Okay. So yeah. they asked you the questions and you answered them. That's that, what based on what they had seen. Uh, at the at the time of they came over for the revaluation, they it was big questions based on what they had seen then. Well, that wasn't the last. So that was the other question I had. The last time it was um, put in here as anybody inspected it or evaluated it was in 2018. So I wondered yes. how. That must be when you went, yeah. So I wondered, how did it get changed if it's not listed? I asked these questions. Yes, you did. How does, recorded. How does it get changed when it's not listed that anybody's And then it? you said, we said. No. And then I said. That, and then you said, you must have lowered them. You must have changed them. And well, you repeated it several times. Well, somebody had to change them. If no one <laughs> right. And you said, you must have. Repeatedly, and that's an allegation. So how does this change? That's, that's, that I construed as calling me a liar. Well, I think that's going a little too far. Well. And you're, and I'm looking at this from someone new coming into this office as being elected to question things. That's fine. So when I question you, and asked how these things changed. You didn't tell me then at that point that you asked questions. You said it's your time for a site visit. So that's what I, I took as. It hasn't been done because you had, you didn't say, well, we wouldn't ask any questions. What was your answer? You said it's time for a site visit. That was part of an answer. And the, another point it was, was said that it's time for a site visit. That, that's right. But there was nothing said as to, I asked you, you know, I questioned it and there was nothing put on the record card. And I guess keeping good records is very important. When was that printed? It's June of 2002. 2022, sorry, 22. Yes. Um, <clears throat> yes. Yep, and then there was another, well, that was another thing that was put on here. Another that I questioned, it was, a. Uh, other, which I'm not sure what other is, that had not been listed on there. And it says the date built was 2009. And it just got listed on there. All right, it's a foundation. Can I ask a question? Yes, please. Okay. So you guys have a little bit of a mishap here. Okay. Yes, we did. But if there's two of you going in, the other houses, right? Mm -hmm. The other two are going in. Uh -huh. What do you think Rock is going to do? But it's the family members it's, that are it's, not wanting. It's it's. I don't think. I, all we need to verify is on the it, property it, card. It's, it's, that's it's all a, we I'm protected we by took, my family. And we I took real effects. Talked to my family or treated my family. And we took real I would rather that, you weren't in my home. Like, well, it's, some people's family dynamics are different. But all we need to really do is to go and verify what are on the property. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I don't see where that's that big of a problem. I'm nothing to hide. Okay. So then, why is it that I can't go, or you're saying I can't go, or she can't go? Yeah, she can't go. Well, and that's it, what I. That, what does that make it unimportant that we were seriously offended? Well, uh, you know, being offended is great in public but... as part of our work. You question the. That other towns legality and, and, and of our work. Gotten phone calls from other towns about some and of ethics? those recorded meetings. Um, 
really it wasn't yes. just the details yes. of the house it's yes about yes. what it's what was the other question I didn't ask a question. She's but, saying that other towns have, have called us saying what's going on there, you know, and picking up on this. And it's it was a matter of being questioned with regard to the legality and the accuracy and the ethics of our work. Well, I think it's very simple if you in if public. You, if you, not, I'm, I don't care if I'm in public or private. I that's what matters. Someone can say that everything on this property card is accurate, and but. Just to verify it, I think that's all you have. We have to do. If it's all accurate, if there's nothing problem, just we'll go and do it. That's all I'm saying, and it's very simply done. I will talk to my family one more time about it. And then, <laughs> no, it's not a laughing matter. You wouldn't let us in the house, as far as I'm concerned. But wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, wait a minute. You simply said you could not come in the house. Until January. That's right. In January. Until this past January was when you finally said. I was an accessor when you came over to my house. Yes, we were. You You weren't. You weren't. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I was putting in for an abatement. Yes. Correct. And I had the right not to let you in. Yes. I have the same. We have right. the same rights. Okay, then you can you can claim that. Then we don't have to, but we can we as assessors we need to go to your house to look at the outside because if I look at your yours you we haven't done yours for ten years. Oh, good grief! That's not right. Well, that's the information on the property card. This is what the Malcolm and I were both there. It says in complete ends on December on. 2012. It wasn't even finished then. And no new pictures since probably then. That's an I don't know. No, accurate not picture of the pictures. that's an accurate picture of the house. Well, there's no garage. Well, no, we didn't back up enough to get a picture of the garage. We have a picture of the garage. Well, the it's garage was in 2016. Mm-hmm. So this picture had to be done before 2016. It's probably done 2018. No, before, because there's well, no garage on there. Look, you can't no garage. So that's oh, old. the old garage is still showing. Yeah, so that's old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but the, the house, the house looks like it does now. That was there. 2016. Yeah, they started in 2017. So the last recording of anyone going to your property is 2012. So, I mean, that didn't get transferred to the account. It, what? Obviously, when Malcolm and I went, and I mean, it certainly should have the fact that Roger went and did photos in 2018. They didn't get transferred onto the account. Well, what can I say? I'm reading property cards. That's all I've mm -hmm. done. Read, read the property cards and a lot of information on it. But, and um, the point of me ask before accusing. I'm accusing, who am I accusing now? Not, but you did then. So you you don't have to let us in, but we need to go and verify your garage because that's not on here and the measurements and the condition of the outside because that's what we do. And that's I'm saying second. you can't come on the property and I have that right. No, not on the property. Yes, 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 you do. Oh, yes, you do. You can take pictures from the road, but you cannot. Okay, that's then it. that's what we'll have to do if you're saying you don't want to say. I guess that's all that'll go. That's all. But the rule of necessity states the rule of necessity states that if you're disqualified and he is disqualified, and I certainly cannot do it as individually, that's illegal. Well, we'll then it becomes to... essential to hire or get a party that's agreeable. To the owners. Well, why do we need to do that? We're just going to go to the outside of the house and do his house, or not even go on the park, if that's all that he won't allow. Everybody has that right, I guess, right? That's right. So, why would anybody let us in their house then? That's the whole problem. Nobody does. So, an, an assessor won't let any the other assessors in. 
There's a big problem in town. We have specific reasons. Well, okay. There are a lot of people I've invited to come who aren't assessors. <laughs> so are you going to let Russ and I go in your house? I don't know yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am, I'm going to consult with my family. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Well, I'm going to take it one step further. Okay. I'm going to make a motion. I second the motion. Have we further discussion and questions? Well, I do have a problem with that. You don't know who they're... No, it doesn't matter. I have a problem with just hiring someone because as an elected official, this is what I was elected to do by the town, the people in the town to do this. And so are we, and we get to do the right. houses with... Uh... And you've been doing it that way since you've been do... along, all along until this point. Yes. Yes, the three assessors would go around to each other's houses, yes. Right. So, I... It used to be every three years, and now because the period between revaluations is longer, it's been a little longer, yes. Mm -hmm. So, my point is, because it's so, so it's all about me, that um, I was elected to do this, mm -hmm. and that's what I should be doing. We were elected too, and we were trying to do it when we were visiting your house when you were doing the applications for abatement. You wouldn't let us in. But I don't have to let you in. Exactly. I don't have to. Right. Okay, so you assessed it without me go, coming into the house, which is fine. And if you don't want us to come in your house, we have to go and measure and check out the condition of the outside or. See, with her house, you can't do that from the street. Can't say it. No, you can't. Can't the oh, you see. Just Do from the outside. You came to my house, looked it all over. I'll get back to you on it. Okay. I just think it's very unnecessary in changing the rules at the or changing the procedure at this point. Because oh. um, you have to vote on the motion. Oh, I, I know. I'm, I'm waiting finish. until we have mm -hmm. finished discussion. Finish discussion and questions. And then, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it's uh, changing the procedure at this point. Um, I guess your thing is because I offended you. Mm -hmm. And to chart to have seriously, the and not just offended. Uh, you know, as I say, it it it. it <laughs> The family, it's, the it's, family is offended, and the family well, is feeling protected. And the family is insulted, and the family. No, it's, it's not just the family either. Well, it's that our our work when you were a brand new one month old assessor, not even that. I think it was the end of June. You right. brought these up. It was certainly in July. And without asking questions, you brought forward these. It was in August. August. August 17th, the video of August 17th, I questioned Lee's house regarding the property card and how it had gone down. And this is Russ had not been up to Lee's house for the past five years. So that was August 17th. Okay, I think it was also brought up in July. But at any rate, basically a brand new assessor, you hadn't completed the introductory course yet of classification or anything at that point. Sure. And rather than ask questions and learn, you came forward with what sounded like accusations of fraud and unethical behavior in. Well, I guess I'm also looking at it, your, your record keeping isn't up to date. So that could be a problem there too. Try hard. Try hard? I do try hard. I try hard. I okay, but, say, but when I'm here, so no computer system was changed for that. When we had lots of not 22. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. No, 21. Well, when things were converted over, yes, we know that things went. Some things went wonky. Other things disappeared, and other things came through weird. Yeah, 21 was when the 
it took, took the a full year, yeah. which was two cycles. So the basically. second year, I don't think it, I, can you tell me any other property where it didn't come through with um, the entry codes and all that? Well, no, of course not offhand. Well, we haven't looked at every property. Anyways. And so that's, that's kind of a ridiculous question without any forewarning. Um, well, all I'm doing as a new assessor reading property cards that I see, and the only reason why I was looking at yours is because I'm a log home, you're a log home. Mm -hmm. So I had always um, compared, mm -hmm. even when I was doing my abatement. Mm -hmm. So I was very familiar with what yours value was. Yes, and, the value, yes. Yes. Not the house, the value. Correct. I have not seen your house. I don't know. But it is, I was just going by property cards as to what it was 21 and how it changed to 24 mm -hmm. in question. In that revaluation. 22 was our last reval. Reval one. 22 was our last revaluation. 17 was the one before it. The last revaluation of Every properties five in years town was an entire revaluation. Right. Mm -hmm. It was fiscal 22. Okay. So yeah. you revaluated it and so I questioned, how did it change? And that was when Russ and Mark and Malcolm came up with quite a few questions and mm -hmm. made those determinations. And there wasn't a, a date when it was done? Oh, there undoubtedly was. Well, well, it should be in your file. Let's look at your file then. It should be clearly in the That's file. That's not a question, right? It should be clearly in your file. Lee's personal property is not part of this motion, I don't think. Well, it I, is in a way. It well, but not to this degree. No. No, we're we're say, we're saying that um I'm questioning the information, and this is what you said. Then yeah. doesn't make it doesn't that make it even more attractive to have an outside, unbiased, independent person come in and give us their determinations? Well, let's look at well, let's at your property record, your information. It should be listed in there of the questions that you and I didn't write down what they asked. I wrote down, I gave them their answers, and we said, I, I probably, I asked, answered questions, and then I, did I hand it to you or did I ask? Did I say, okay, the condition has been listed as this. What do you feel? And how and they told questions? me what they said and I wrote it down. What kind of questions did you ask them? I have no idea. I think that was two years ago. Years ago. Just the usual kind of question. How much is completed? I still don't understand how it can go down so much. I, that's just the question. So it must it have written down somewhere. I mean, that's what you do. You write it on information. It certainly is now because I think I filled it, went down the whole little chart thing last year. Or sometimes, so maybe since you brought this all up. Mm -hmm. All right. It doesn't, you know, I just, we can talk this over and. We we're kind of repeating know. ourselves anyway over on other conversations we've had, but it's yep. important to do it tonight. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to, we don't want to go over and look in the property your records and find it. I think the question is, do we need to have the, the question brought forward as a motion is to have an outside appraiser come in and do all three properties. And my biggest thing is why should we be spending any money to do that? when the three of us are capable of doing it and you don't have to let us in. In order to solve a problem here in the office so that we can move forward more easily, more smoothly. I think if we just went to the outside of three homes, it would be done. You couldn't do mine properly by seeing just the outside. You, you wouldn't see what's incomplete. Yeah, you'd still you be wouldn't. questioning the inside of the yep. completion. But that's what we'd have to, you, that's what you have to do with any other's home. You'd have to judge it by the outside. The I would invite an independent appraiser to come in. Well, but why are we paying to have someone do that? To solve the problem. 
Well, what if we have the same problem at anybody else's house? What do you We're not going to bring an outside appraiser because it's not. That can be solved. We have a board of three here prepared to go and evaluate any house in town. And the owner, they can apply for an abatement. They can they apply for an abatement. Yes. If they don't like it, they can have bring in an outside appraiser as long as it's being valued by that appraiser for tax valuation, not for mortgage lending and things like this. Yeah. Uh, that's not a matter where there is no one who can do the job. The three of us can do the job for anyone else. Well, two of us can do the job for uh, the other two. I don't understand the difference in that. I thought I said it clearly. I thought I made, I made You said sense. the three of us can go out and do the job, right? Yes. For yeah. an, another homeowner's properties. Oh, correct. Cool. With amongst our three, we do not have two. People. Two. We do. We have three. So the we other have three. Two. But under our present feelings, we do not have two who can go and do each of the other two properties. Oh. Because you're not going to allow, you don't allow me. Is that it? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I think the town, should, people of town, should be offended by your decision. Also, I think that's a big slap in the face. I think people. they should know why we feel this way. Well, I, I think it should be good that they should know also that I questioned your property card, and that's what I was elected to do: is come in and question things on what's going on. Questioning is great. Well, that's what I did. I'm sorry if I offended you because I guess I was overzealous, whatever you want to call it, as a new assessor. But um, I appreciate that. I as appreciate an that apology. Roxanne, don't take this personally. This happened almost a year ago, and you were overzealous. As an observer, you were accusatory, condescending, and rude. And their families have a right to take that personally because you were not nice in any way, shape, or form to them at all. And I, you may not see it that way, mm -hmm. but it came People across as it. very rude and condescending Called and very accusatory. What the hell is going on? You know, what they they couldn't believe that we were having that kind of behavior in a meeting. I appreciate the apology you just made. Thank you. Um, and I will talk to my family. But at the moment, this is where we stand. And... We have a motion on the table. Are we ready to vote? So let me ask you this. So what is your reason? I just to make it clear because I'm not understanding that I can't that you refuse to have me come to your house because family. Well because family, yeah. Because family. Right. Okay, because one minute ago you said because I didn't allow you into my house. Well, that started the whole. But a lot of people don't assess assessors into their home. Right. Okay. I agree with that. Okay. And then then they can't apply for the abatement. Correct. Right. They can't go to ATB. Yeah. They can't go to they ATB. Can't go. We simply. Yes. Yes. That's true. I got that. Right. Okay. So, so I'm not quite following so you there. He's in. Are you invoking your right to say? I'm not following what you're trying to tell me. I'm trying to tell you that I'm not going to allow you. I want an appraisal by an independent person in order to establish an accurate value for mine. If it goes up, it goes up. It, I want it to be unbiased. Un, yeah, unbiased and mm -hmm. independent. That's the way it has to be, but I find it 
I think that I think the public looked at it excitedly and thought, wow, going out on your own. So there can't be any questions. No question. Also, giving them a face that other people that we did open ours to an independent right. contractor. There, there are a number of them. Uh, the one whom I had suggested is the one who knows Conway best. He has he commercial properties. No, he, well, there's also a problem with hiring him because I see that as a conflict of interest because he's worked for our office. Yes. And he's worked with you quite a bit because, yes. um, you know, doing work for the town. And then he, there was a, a comment that he'd do it for nothing, which I find as a real I don't problem. like that either. That's I would think that, that we would then insist on paying him because it needs to be on a business like pudding. But just to, for him to say, I'll do it for nothing to me is a conflict. And then there is also something in the state guidelines that you can't just hire whoever you want. You have to put that out to pe other people to do it. There are plenty of contractors out there we could. So um, he expresses motions as an independent contractor. Mm -hmm. And I would find having Roy Bishop do it would be a conflict. And I would contact the, the ethics about that because I see that that I would be a problem. Okay. Exactly. He didn't motion for Roy to do it. He motioned for well, an independent contractor. Well, there was also a problem. Sure, we have been having discussions about Yeah, we have discussed them, but that's... Simply because he knows the town so well. But he knows values here in town. There was also a problem when we first started this that when you brought it up to hire him, it was a big thing about, it was in the minutes. There was no minutes about discussing to hire Roy when you brought it up. It didn't get into the minutes? No, I said, we didn't discuss this about Roy evaluating our homes and Lori and you both said, yes, it was in our minutes. I and believe it was. About assessing our homes? Approving yes. our homes? Yes. No, it wasn't. And I have it in the email that you said, no, it was not in any minutes. Okay, I must have checked that. Huh? I must have looked back. That's, that point of information is no longer. Uh, yeah. Well, the first mention of this was December 7th about Roy. And there was no minutes of us discussing this before December 7th about. So you have okay. this in your mind to hire Roy to do this before there was even mention about an uh, appraiser coming to our homes. We've had several appraisers work in town over the years. Mm -hmm. I had it in my mind to hire him because he already knows the community well. He knows the market values in Conway well. Mm -hmm. I believe his work to be completely, it would be completely unbiased. He does not owe me a thing, and yeah, any of us. And he's a complete and total professional. I would not do anything in an unethical way. But if Roxanne doesn't agree with him, there are plenty of others. Yep. That we can get prices from to do it. Yes, there are. Yep. I would still look at it as being someone in town saying, why are you refusing? For me, as an elected official, to do my job that I, they wanted me to do. We want you to keep doing 99.5% of your job. <laughs> <laughs> I just see that as being a big question. Okay. For then if someone has that question, they should probably come in and ask them personally. Yes, and ask, and them ask, ask us them why, why they why should we... come in and say, Lee. Why does you why do you why does you and your family not want to let Roxanne come on your property to do this part of her job? And then she can give them her answer. If they have a question, they should come right to the person that they have the question from. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not hear it from somebody else or rumors or 
writings or right. it's right here it should right, be right now it's recorded. addressed directly to the person of the I'd be question. glad to speak to anyone about it mm -hmm. to explain my personal point of view and that of my family as it happens but I will also bring this up with my family again but well let's, um, let's, my, my suggestion is I don't see them changing oh I was going to say I was going to suggest that we yep. wait off on voting on an appraisal and wait to see if Lee's you were going to talk to your family mm -hmm. so that's, that's what I was going to suggest because I think it's a simple solution and I think it's made into a whole big issue and I would like to see us work my together. My integrity is taken into question. That's a big issue to me. So I guess my other question would be, once there is an appraisal, how do you get over the big issue? I accept the appraised value and we move forward. That's what I would do. Well, I'm taking this you just because you won't let me. This is kind of doing my job. So I think for me, that's pretty offensive. Would you accept an, an evaluation from an outside appraiser? I don't so think that we could move forward. No, I don't see that we need to do that because I feel I'm saying if we had an outside appraiser. No, I don't whether think you feel we need it or not. If there were an outside appraiser, would you accept their value? Well, you guys just came and did my value from the outside. From, from the outside. outside. Would you let them inside and then accept the value? I don't think it's necessary. That isn't the question. Well, that's not my question. My question would you, is would you not accept their value. I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm on. I guess I, I would have to look at them all and then say, does this make sense for value? I'm not going to say, we'll hire him and whatever he says, that's what we're going by. Because that doesn't make sense as. But we'd be hiring an evaluation professional to do their professional job. I won't, I won't, I won't agree with Roy because to me, that's a big, huge conflict of him being in town. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we hire somebody else. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I don't have a problem with that. Okay, you said you don't have a problem with it. Well, they because um, you were just there two years ago. And it changed my assessment. And I did my abatement. So you haven't been, we haven't been, nobody's been to your house for 10 years. That's not the case. So. Yeah. I guess it's not going to matter. Well, let's just do it this way, though. Well, you have an outside opinion. Mm -hmm. You can walk around your property. You can change all, you can get them to change all the measurements because they're not soon, correct? Yeah, so since you and Lee went and changed my property card, the measurements are all so every so. all the measurements that you brought. What? So anyway, they no, when you and Russ went in on the Sunday when I wasn't available and you went in and fixed my property card, the measurements are off. You were right there. No, you changed the property card when it was printing good. From, you know, it was printing good and you couldn't fix it. The condition, good. You brought in the accurate measurements. No, listen, listen, Lee. Remember when you and Russ got together? We had a Sunday when we could work, yes. Right. And because it was printing good and not accurate. Right, we were trying to figure out why. Well, you used the wrong property picture with the wrong measurements on that property card. And I even came in and told you that. 
but nothing changed. So. The purpose of that exercise was not to revalue your property. It was to simply find out why. I understand. It was still showing good. Well, yes. and you again, used, you are on the property code. An outside person would do measurements. Yes. Right. And so if there's inconsistencies or corrections, yeah. they'll be taken care of. Yeah. Okay. Conditions will be taken care of. Yeah. I think that you would find that your current property card is the correct measurements as you gave them to us. No, that isn't. I didn't bring my property card. Well, we're not just, that's. I didn't bring it, but that's the one. It doesn't matter. Um, so the whole, I'm offended that you won't, you two personally will not let me in as I was, I mean, I'm taking offense to that. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Yeah. But I hope you can understand and where our point of view came from. Because I questioned your property card. Because of the way you questioned our property card and the words you used in, in doing it. And that you repeated. Because I couldn't understand how, by reading it, that it got changed. And from well, what the answers Russ gave me, it's like, how can that be changed? So. I think that mm -hmm. in regard to the motion currently on the, on the floor, I would like to ask for a delay of that motion until I've spoken to my family to see what they have to say. Mm -hmm. okay. Would that be agreeable to you? You're the one who brought it forward. So we'll table it for the moment. I don't know if one of my family can come on our next meeting or not. Usually works evenings. Library, I'm sure with enough notice that she can. Yes. I can certainly try to have her come so that she can hear both sides of the issue. Okay. Lance won't be back until at least the middle of the month, if not later. It's still cold. It'll be later. <laughs> <laughs> at any rate. Um, so when you say, are we talking about next meeting? Yeah. The third? Yes. Okay. If possible. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I think that covers the conflict of interest topic for tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Some of these have to be in executive session. Yes. Three of these have to be executive sessions. So let's hold off. I got to walk out. Be yep. Yeah, well, we but can two, we do those last here. so we can yes, start recording? Can yes. Oh. Um, I did give Veronique a final figure of twenty-four thousand as an estimate for the cost of conversion. Oh. That includes um, ten thousand five hundred for the purchase of the program. Okay, 200 hours extra my time. The cartographic has a conversion fee of $1,800. The server hosting fee is $2,500. Program subscription for the first year is $2,500. Now, I did put in training time for a robot time for training. Now, I think we'll be able to pull that down some. I'd like to have it under $20,000 and amended on town meeting floor. How are you going to pull it down? I stand up and say we have an amendment to this. No, but your figures, how are you going to bring oh, those down? <laughs> by five, I'm hoping after talking to other towns, I'll be able to re reduce my time and the trainees' time both. Yeah. Right. Well, um, as a suggestion, get some clear like statements oh, from yes. towns that have just done it. And have them with you at town meeting so you can use them as you know if you Good need idea. to. Towns that have recently made this change, mm -hmm. why they've made it, and oh, what, I have and how they feel about it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what's in our our article right at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so let me just ask you on those. Yep. Uh, 
2,500 for what was that? Extra 100 hours of my time. No, 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 no. The 25. Oh, uh, for their server hosting fee. Is um, that every year? Yes. That's the price every year. Yes. What do we pay? What was Tyler's? Wasn't well, that more? this is a different issue. This is a different program. Tyler has hosted ours uh, apparently for nothing or it's included in our annual fee. They separate out the fee. And the specs that they sent as to what we would need for computers here mm -hmm. would be an upgrade to a an entire separate server. And Roy said, the town can't begin to do it for 2,500 or anything anywhere near that. He said, use them. Right, and I get what you're saying. But that's an annual fee, yes. Yes. As is this program subscription. So it'd be five thousand dollars a year to have okay. the program. Oh, but, we're, okay. but we're currently paying about forty four hundred dollars a year. Trying. So it's it's not that big of a difference. That's what I was trying to get to. That's what we're my question for. is with them hosting it and it not being a web based program, yeah, is it going to be accessible from both computers? Because I can't, I can't work in it if it's only on your computer. Unless you come over here and do it. Yeah, but you're here. Right. So. It's not a web-based one. No. If it was web-based, we wouldn't need the server well, upgrades. Well, right. Yeah. Okay, I'll find See, out. See, Tyler, we can log into it from anywhere. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter where we are. And that is oh, a, a very, right oh, yes. that's nothing is unusual. It babies from last year? It's a very desirable feature. That car slowed down. Being able to log in yeah, from anywhere. It's standing right there. They cross over from. They cross over the for the apple tree over here. Yeah, really. It's still there. You might not see that. Maybe not. is it? Is hurt? it? Oh. Uh oh. It's hobbling a little. It looks like a young one. Front right leg. Well, we should call. Yeah. Well, she's walking. Yeah. She's just limping. Okay. And there's really, I know there's nothing they can do. There's nothing they will do. The bear over there will get it. Or the bot, the bot pad, or, you know, know. They, they're just going to say, let nature, unless yep. she's actually in the, you know, down the road. Mm -hmm. They yes, that's different. They, yeah, yeah, they won't do anything. She is walking. And it's sad. Yeah, she's walking. She's and it may be, it could be something as simple as I slept on my leg wrong. <laughs> I hope so. Well, like it's still run when they tap chat chase me. Yeah. Yep. Um, so that's the update there. Mm -hmm. The um, last open item is a transfer from overlay reserve to overlay surplus so that the funds can be used at town meeting. Uh, voted by the people at town meeting to be used for any lawful purpose. Our I'm sorry, reserve to what? From overlay reserve to overlay surplus. Thank you. And how much is that? Well, I'm just looking at it. Um, our current mm -hmm. balance is $35,564.54. Mm -hmm. I'm allowing what we would refund to the landowner if that goes through with the CONCOM, plus uh, what's involved in this particular personal exemption that would bring us down to about 32.7. So we can that would cover we can release an amount that. up to that. Yes, it could. Yes, absolutely. More and that. I would recommend that we keep some. Uh, usually about four, three, four, five thousand. Mm -hmm. We do not expect any more applications for abatement, obviously, or exemptions. The period for that's gone by. Do we have any situation? I thought that we were still waiting. Verizon, but we could wait another two or three years on that. And should that and come in between now and June? ATB will never. If that came in between now and June, we could go ahead and vote the money from overlay and have a deficit and simply replace it. Um, in June at town meeting, oh. it would we we would have uh, an amount usually in the low 30s set aside on the recap to refill our overlay anyway. So this is returning unused funds mm -hmm. to be used for other purposes here in town. Mm -hmm. So this is the letter by which we do it. Um, it informs the accountant and the select board. 
the finance committee that we've released this amount of money that can now be used uh, by the town meeting for any lawful purpose. I so would, you're releasing it into free cash? We're re much. No, no, almost not at all, no. not at all. If it does not get used at town meeting, then it goes into free cash. Yep. <coughs> but oh, so it's supposed to be used at this town meeting? It can be used at this town meeting, yes. Okay. Otherwise, it will close out to free cash. Well, that would, and this could be yes. It, I would re recommend certainly that they take the funds for a, mm -hmm. a conversion if we want it to from this overlay reserve overlay surplus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, as far as what we need to keep, if we're down to thirty-two seven, I would say we ought to keep five thousand. That would make it 277 we could release or 28,000, round up to 28,000 we could release and still have a reasonable little buffer there. Um, I don't know what we need for buffer. We don't need that much actually, but it should always be there. It should, I think 5,000 should be there. Well, um, We have you, saying, you, is that a motion? Are you? Wait, wait. I'd like to make. What did you say again? I'm saying that we released twenty five. We released twenty five thousand instead of the twenty eight. Mm -hmm. And then what would that leave us for, Christian? That would leave us uh, seven, seven eight thousand. Seven, eight thousand. Oh. And then if something were to happen with one of the utility right. companies, we wouldn't go into a deficit. It would yeah, be there. A little better to have a little bit more of a cushion. Yeah. I mean, and if we don't use it next year, you release more, right? You can, yes. If, the, if at the end of the year, there are funds there. Yeah. All right. I make a motion. We release 25,000. 25,000. Okay. We have a second. Second. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? Okay, aye. so moved. Uh, Child, we vote. Aye. All in favor, aye. 25,000. Let me just go. The limit's already up on my computer. Just reprint it. Print them out and assign it. Oh. So, the blue one seems to go down. I guess we got it. Because they have to vote, right? True. But then they spend the money. And if we were to, for some reason, we were to withdraw yeah. the application for, I mean, the, the conversion from the town meeting, and they could use it to fund other articles. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that would be. And that's in June. Yes. So if they voted for us for to accept that, would we move forward? And we chose to do that. Would we move forward right away to try to get it? And we would have it as of town meeting day. Okay. We would have the funds. Uh, yes, we have. They the must funds. have. They must have a time frame that they yeah. can change the system. Right. And they got to patch one thing to that. Oh. And I guess my other question is, how are we going to correct what we find as errors? That's a good question. We have to make up the list of areas that we specifically want to address. And then just start going pulling reports and going through them. Okay. I, I mean, pretty much that in two months. We haven't done any assessment. From what I understood, we're supposed to do like 80 homes a year. Since I've been here, we haven't done that. You know, be a year, and we haven't done it. Done good 30 or 40. How did we do 30 or 40? Obviously, I wish I could say the same. But we didn't look at the homes, <laughs> we looked at sheds. 
We look no, at that's true. That we we haven't, there's no, Thanks, Carla. We haven't done too many columns. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Then we'll get out and get some more. It's been tough with the weather. I'm old enough I used to be. What are we doing? I guess we got a song. Just sign yeah. under my name. Is it under or above? Usually, no. where are the sign above? If we look at this above. above. Okay. We don't know if Russ will be able to sneak any weekday time in May, but um, maybe if in May and June and July and August, or May, June and July, we'll be able to go out later in the day too. So it may be that we can do a couple of those a week or something, the 4.30 to 7 or something. Well, we didn't even do any of those last June and July. So I guess I'm trying to understand how we do 80 homes a year. Because I haven't seen us do any, hardly. We've only hit a few of the new growth. This is what I'm proposing. We need to finish up on new growth. We haven't even done that. Most all of it, yep. And in May, we definitely should get out and try to see any um, that's under construction, yep. Because we we don't really get together to do a whole lot of that. And then you're gonna be gone and I'm only gone through. a week and a half. I know, but we we'll be back August, April 30th. Well, okay. Uh, I do you have an idea about Zoom? We haven't done any of oh, that. Oh gosh, I haven't even thought about that in the last week or so. Um Let's plan it for the first week of May. You're coming back on the 30th, probably not back to work till the second mm -hmm. meeting on the third. Mm -hmm. I would say, why don't you use the third at your meeting to determine an area? A neighborhood, yes. A neighborhood. Yes, yes, yes. So I don't and then schedule yeah. a, a good a neighborhood. In other words, an area of town to, to take to start. Right. To do, you know, to work on our right. pumpkin homes. hollow. To do what? A set, to site visits. To do our 80 homes. Yeah, oh, we've gone toward our 80 homes. Well, we were just talking about the Zoom. That, no, yeah. she yeah. started bringing up, or did, or were you? We were I'm just, sorry. We were talking about the Zoom. Oh, sorry. She and I were. Sorry. Um, I thought she ended that when she said I hadn't thought about that. No. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, well, I, uh, well, talking about site visits, I had request or suggested, made a suggestion about the uh, homes that were incomplete. Yes. And we haven't done anything with that. Good, that's where we'll start. Um, have, that's where we'll start. I mean, have you sent out any? You, Can't send out any notes until I know when we can go. Well, you don't, you have to wait for responses. You have to send them out ahead of time. But I also have to give an idea of when we're going to be out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, exactly. We need to go into executive session now uh, for the purpose of reviewing an application for personal exemption. So, if someone want to make a motion. And so, we need to make a motion to close our regular meeting temporarily. Temporarily, yes, while we go into executive session. I second. Okay, I'm, I just made the motion. I made the motion to close our meeting temporarily. Second. Um, I second. Okay, all in favor, aye. Aye. Very good. Give me a sec to pause the recording. Please. Okay, at 7.32, we are coming out of executive session. Have we any other business before the board tonight? 
I am motion to leave. Adjourn. Five <laughs> second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We are adjourned at 732 and a half. <laughs>